Yeah, I can go. Let's hope there's something useful. This is Hotel Emergency Broadcast System. Please leave your apartment immediately. Follow signs to the nearest staircase. Okay, hurt to take a look. Don't want 
pass up anything useful. I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, my body tell you? No, stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again! Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? Those things came for us and Sinemoy went out to kill them alone. Why won't anyone help him? We can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. SOS! Help SOS. him! Oh my god, what if he's dead? <laughs> Fuck, I should have never listened to Sinemoy. Going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help. Me. Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon. You need to find a weapon. Please, he's the only one protecting us. All right, this is fucking crazy. On three, one, two, fuck it, three. <laughs> That's the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. Hello? We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. Just touch and go with you for a while. Can you kill them all? <laughs> mm. 
get in this shape. We didn't think you were gonna make it. Name's John Cinnamoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. It said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. But then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? I'm here. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. What a no thanks to you. I didn't see you out there. Getting up again. Fuck off. Oh, what the oh, fuck? God.
This is Roger Howard on a special assignment on the island of Banoi. I'm investigating illegal logging and clear cutting that's not only damaging the ecosystem here, but costing the people of Banoi billions. I've been told that my life might be in what danger as do? those behind this illegal act. My wife. My, my dad. Oh, fuck. My own fucking brother. Jesus Christ. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, <gasps> can't hurt to take a look. Looking like a motherfucking postcard. You killed Count what? You did it? All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. No thanks to you. We need a move. Okay, you ready to go out there again? I'll need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? How can I say no? Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you.
Jesus Christ, if you hadn't come along. Y you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the water sports rental kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. Maybe there's something in here. There's a table in sight you can use to repair your weapons. Oh, what the fuck? Hope there's something useful.
ver. Oceanic flight one. Zero one two. All engines are out. Repeat all engines. <laughs> <are out. laughs> Maybe there's something in here.
right, okay? We're coming right now. Everybody pack up. We're on our way. Watch the road. We'll be there soon. Nice job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. Help don't come soon. We're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you can see if anybody needs help. We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. Come over here. I've got a job for you. I heard this scourge came from... Out of space. Somebody help me with this bloody door. Look, are you hearing me? God damn it, this is hopeless. Hey, I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna's too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you, think you can get it for us? Yeah. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can.
You find my... Wait, you're not... my brother? He must have sent you, right? Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here. My husband. He's bleeding. Can you help us? Name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell when I saw that broke down car. Part of me said, forget about it. But I couldn't. I couldn't do that and live with myself. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to... Uh, had to kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. <laughs> you gotta believe me. <sighs> but you know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Or rabies. I don't know. Fuck. <sighs> Who the hell knows? But, but can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. Yeah. Hey, man. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. My brother James should be there. He'll take her in.
There are people living in the lighthouse? Where the hell did I put that? I can't believe you're alive. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like Jesus. Anyway, you better go see the giant. Thank you. I'm sure, be surprised as hell to see. Can you check on my husband? Follow me, I'll take you to Giants. I'm sure he'll be glad to see you're still alive. Giants will probably want to talk to you first. He's in the back there. We should go and talk to him. James is at the top of the lighthouse. Go see him. Anything good in here? Talk to James first. He's the one in charge. Holy shit, you're alive? I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. I can do that. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? I'm approaching the location where I'm to meet my informant. I must hey, say... unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that uh, help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Farther up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interest in a little salvage work? I'm here. Good. And when the help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. We followed James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two transformers powering the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. Yeah. All right. Good. The transformers are in the northern part of the gold bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage ship. I'm Darwin, by the way. Where the hell did I put that?
like that! Name's Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that other transformer back online while I finish fixing this one. Go! Everything works. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the lighthouse. This is for you. Thanks for the help. The world's gone fucking mad!
Where the hell did I put that? Can you come closer? Okay. If Marcus said it's gonna work, let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid. Looks like it worked. Come on, I'll open the storage shed for you. In the hang it is. Get through. I was in contact with the pilots of that plane that went down. It was full of passengers, and they said they were making an emergency landing near the edge of the jungle. I lost contact with them after that, but if they landed that plane safely, maybe we can use it to get the hell off this island. Let's do it. Hey, that plane might be our ticket out of here. Her name's Linda. 
She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? How can I say no? Thank you. There's a racked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and medical supplies in the lifeguard tower. I'm pretty sure you can find painkillers and bandages either place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. Stop right there! Stay where you are! Hey, hey, easy there, friend. We're not infected. You're alive? I didn't think there was anyone living left out there. Come on, follow me. If you're looking for the evacuation point, you're too late. It's closed. Colonel White's orders. Yeah, actually, we were. Don't worry. This is an old bomb shelter, very well fortified. It was the evacuation point for anyone exposed to the disease. They were examined and quarantined in hopes that help would arrive. But the contagion spread, and finally they told us to shut this place down. What, shut it down? What about the infected? And we were ordered to kill them, every last one of them, to halt the spread. But then we lost contact with command. No way to call in evac. Nothing on the radio at all. Well, that's probably because of the monsoon. Maybe. Shut the fuck up, you maggots! We're gonna fight to the bloody end and do whatever it takes to execute our last order. Is that understood? Yes, sir! I command has written us off. <laughs> it's a miracle we found this place at all. Major Dixon's talking to the troops. But He's our commanding officer. We will do what is necessary to survive. We have enough weapons and ammo to kill everyone on this godforsaken island ten times over. We have enough food to last us for years. We are self-sufficient here, and we will fight together until we've drawn our last breath. Yes, sir! To what, what kind of arena are you talking about exactly? They're survivors, Major. We have four arenas full of starving infected who would tear us apart like rabid dogs if given half a chance. Each arena is set up to offer soldiers the ultimate test. The task is to kill all the infected before they can kill you. There's only one rule. Survival. Yeah, I'm not sure I see the point of this. It's a test of courage. A rite of passage. We execute our last order and slaughter the infected. And those who fight best will be rewarded. Only the strong will survive. It's better to have it and not use it. But need it and not have it.
Nice. Maybe we can finally get this fucker to work. Thanks. Come over here. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame, though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out any time you want. Deal? Yeah, okay. Excellent. You locate those parts. You know where to find me. Somebody help me with this bloody door. Hey, remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical support. Yeah. I appreciate it. Go on, then. On you, mate. Now let me get to work. All the equipment's what a bloody disaster. I need you to. Yeah, okay. Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. Please, just... Kelly's worried about her husband, Will. But I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there... Yeah. His name is William. He's about six foot... He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking... Excuse me. We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. A lot of people here need help. Go to talk to them and see what you can do. Hurry, please! She's in a lot of pain! Did you find the plane? Let's see what we got. 